Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical uh, circles along with their uh, centers uh, O, P, and uh, Q. As you can see in this uh, diagram, and this uh, red line uh, passes through this uh, center O, and uh, this uh, point of tangency is C. And moreover, uh, these uh, circles are uh, tangent to each other. And furthermore, the circumference of each circle is 100 pi units. And now our task is to calculate the length of this code AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that our circumference that has been given to us is 100 uh, pi. And now let's recall the circumference of a circle formula, 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circle. So therefore, we are going to compare these uh, right-hand uh, sides. So I can write uh, 2 pi r equals to 100 uh, pi. Now let's go ahead and uh, divide both sides by 2 pi in R to isolate R. So this is gone. So our radius uh, R turns out to be equal to this pi and pi is gone. So radius turns out to be 50 units. So thus the radius of each uh, circle turns out to be 50 units. And here's our next step. Let's assume that M uh, is the point uh, on this code AB somewhere here. And now I have uh, drawn a perpendicular uh, PM uh, on this uh, red line. And now let's recall a perpendicular bisector theorem. If a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. As you can see in this uh, diagram, we have a AB chord uh, and uh, PM is perpendicular to that one. So therefore, according to this theorem, uh, this uh, AM segment is going to be equal to MB segment as you can see in this uh, equation. And moreover, we are going to connect uh, this point of tangent CC with this uh, center Q as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. The angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. And since uh, this is our radius and this is our tangent line, so no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these uh, centers O, P, and Q, as you can see over here. And now let's recall this uh, crucial factor. The centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. So therefore, all these uh, points, this center O, this point of tangency, this uh, center P, this point of tangency, and this center Q lie on the very same uh, line. And now our radius is uh, 50, so therefore uh, this uh, CQ length uh, is going to be 50 units since this is our radius. Likewise, uh, this uh, is going to be our radius, uh, which is uh, 50. This is uh, 50. This is uh, 50 and finally this is a 50 as well and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two right triangle one is this one tiny triangle uh, o m p and this uh, big uh, triangle uh, o c q and now we can see that these uh, two triangles uh, triangle uh, o m p this tiny triangle and this uh, larger triangle uh, O, C, Q are uh, similar uh, triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem because uh, this angle is in common to both of these triangles and these angles are uh, 90 degrees each. So therefore, as a result, we are going to have a proportion. In other words, we are going to have a ratio of uh, PM divided by this uh, QC. Let me go ahead and write down PM divided by QC is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, this uh, side length OP and this other big uh, side length uh, OQ. So let me go ahead and write down OP divided by OQ. 
and now we can see our this uh, op length uh, is going to be 50 plus 50 that is going to give us uh, 100 whereas uh, this uh, big uh, length uh, oq is going to be some of these uh, four radii 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50, plus 50 is going to give us uh, 200 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got uh, pm divided by 50 equals to 100 divided by 200 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 50 to isolate uh, pm and here 50 and 50 is uh, gone so our uh, pm length uh, turns out to be if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 25 so thus our this uh, length uh, pm turns out to be 25 and here's our next step i have connected uh, this uh, center p with this uh, point uh, b and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, pmb now let's focus on this right triangle uh, pmb we know that this uh, pb is the radius so this is going to be 50 and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle uh, PMB to figure out this uh, missing side uh, MB. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as side uh, C. I'm going to call this side A and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean uh, formula. A square we are going to figure out. Uh, plus b in our case is 25 square equals to 50 square let's subtract uh, 625 from both sides this is gone so a square turns out to be 1875 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides on the left hand side we got this square and square root is gone so a turns out to be equal to and now let's look at uh, this uh, right hand uh, side i have copied it down square root of uh, 1875 and if we simplify this thing uh, that is going to be equal to 25 times the uh, square root of 3 so therefore our a value turns out to be this uh, 25 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and we know that this uh, a length uh, is uh, same as uh, this uh, side uh, m b as you can see over here and we know that uh, a m length is equal to m b length so there means these both length are same so therefore a m length turns out to be 25 times square root of 3 as well and now we can see that this uh, called a b length is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, a m and uh, this uh, m b as you can see in this uh, equation so therefore our a b length uh, is going to be our a m length is uh, 25 times the square root of uh, 3 plus our m b length is uh, 25 times uh, square root of 3 as well so therefore our uh, a b length uh, is going to be let's add these ones that is going to give us uh, 50 times uh, square root of uh, 3 units so thus our a b code uh, length turns out to be 50 times uh, square root of 3 units and that is approximately equal to 86.6 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye